guys welcome back if you're new here my name is smitha welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be showing you how to get super neat straight sharp eyeliner on wrinkled lids i feel like if i have this problem many of you also have this problem so i wanted to show you how i do it so without further ado let's begin as you can see my lids are wrinkled and they're wrinkled especially in the area very close to my lash line and that's where we apply the eyeliner now if i try to apply eyeliner like everybody else it's going to be a pretty bumpy ride for the liner and it's not going to look sharp so i want to show you how i take care of this the first step is to use a cleanser to remove any debris and fallouts i use a very mild cleanser the micellar cleansing water i use it with a q-tip to go all over my lids you can use any cleanser of your choice but try to use something that's mild and that will not dry out your lids because if it dries it out there's going to be more cracks and the liner is going to have a more bumpy ride so try to use something that's soft and gentle the next step is to hydrate your eyes and for that I'm using the Tatcha Silk Peony. I have a couple of favorites including this. You can also use a mild moisturizer without any perfumes, especially the ones infused with vitamin E work really well around the eyes. That will help to hydrate the naturally dry skin around your eyes as well as soften the wrinkles. Just like we use primers on our face to cover up all those little pores and fine lines, we can use primers on our lids to cover up the wrinkles. I'm using this one from Pretty Vulgar. It forms a barrier between the oil of your skin and your eyeliner and the eyeshadow. With that, it'll also fill in all the fine lines to cover all the wrinkles and prevent the crinkles. And it'll also make your liner long lasting. So I'm going to mostly focus at the lash line. That's where I have the wrinkles. And then I'll slowly spread it upwards and outwards. Make sure to have a good mirror in front of you. I have this one which has 1x on one side and 10x on the other side. So I can really zoom into my lids and I can see every single line. When I apply any kind of eye makeup, I'm usually looking at the 10x side to perfect it. Make sure to look straight in the mirror with your eyes open and never pull or tug on your lid because when you apply your eyeliner while pulling on your lid and then you release it, it wrinkles up again. And then the eyeliner will start looking odd again. So just look straight in the mirror and keep your lids relaxed. When you have wrinkles, try to use a smudge proof gel liner because if you use a liquid liner, they can run very fast and they can settle in those fine lines and quickly start looking very odd. I'm using this one from Maybelline. It's a drugstore gel liner. It's inexpensive and it is so good. And to apply it, I'm going to be using a thin pointed brush. This one's from Juno. I like these thinner brushes for eyeliner as opposed to an angled brush because you have more control over how thick or thin you want your eyeliner to be. Usually, if you observe your wrinkles, they fold towards the inner corner. So that's the direction in which they grow and fold. So I'm going to be applying the liner in the direction of my wrinkles, which is from the outer corner to the inner corner. That's when you get a smooth flow of liner. Now, if you try to fight it and if you try to apply it in the opposite direction, it'll look more crinkled. So starting with where my lash line ends in the outer corner, I'm going to apply the liner all the way to where my lash line ends in the inner corner. Once we have that border taken care of, I'm going to fill in that gap between my lash line and the liner by moving from the outer corner to the inner corner as well as from the inner corner to the outer corner so every gap is covered. For the outer wing, I'm going to extend my lower lash line in the same direction. You can make it as long or as short as you like. And then I'm going to join the tip to my lash line. And next, I'm also going to fill in that gap in the wing. The final step is to clean up and this is an important step. I'm going to look closely in areas where my eyeliner is a bit crooked and I'm going to only fill in those gaps and neaten it up. Using 
and then to sharpen the wing i'm taking some concealer with this concealer brush from do color i like this brush especially because it's flat and it's straight so it's very easy to draw straight lines with this i'm going to use it to clean up the lower part of the wing to sharpen it If you have wrinkles in the inner corner, avoid applying eyeliner in the inner corner because that's where your eyes are most watery and moist. So if you apply eyeliner in the inner corner and then you have wrinkles there and your eyes get moist for whatever reason, then it's going to be a mess. That's pretty much it, you guys. If you've always had problems with your eyeliner because of wrinkles or if you've avoided eyeliner altogether because of wrinkles, try these tips and tricks out and let me know how it works out for you. Every single person that I've tried this on has had luck with it and I'm hoping that it'll help you as well. Come back and let me know how it works out for you. And if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Please don't forget to thumbs up. That'll only help me do more and more for you guys and let me know if you want to watch more videos like these. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys!